welcome dear students to standard 5th subject mathematics chapter 10 measuring time module 1 i am miss komal narute let's see the learning objective of this module in this module, you will be learning about introduction of time, what is time and questions related to it. So, let's get started. Students, look at this picture. In this picture, what can you see? So, here, a child's daily routine event have been put in sequence according to time at which they are done. So at 8 a.m. he is going to school. At 1 p.m. he is having his lunch. And at 6 p.m. he is playing. And 10 p.m. is sleeping. So, this is the daily routine event have been put in the sequence according to the time at which they are done by this student. So, students, what is time? Here, in math, time can be defined as the ongoing and continuous sequences of events that occurs in succession from the past through the present to the future. So, time can be defined as the ongoing and continuous sequence of events that occurs in succession from the past through the present to the future. So, this is the definition of time. So, students, time is used to quantify, measure or compare the duration of events or the interval between them and the even the sequence events so we use time to quantify measure or compare the duration of events that occurs in our day-to-day -day life or the interval between them and the even sequence events we measure Time in seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months and years with clocks and calendars. A day has 24 hours. The hour hand, the shortest of the two hands, completes one rotation that is 360 degree in 12 hours in a normal 12 hours analog the time hand the longer hand complete one rotation through 360 degree in 60 minutes so here you can see short hand that is our hand and longer hand that means minute hand so here in this first clock you can see time is 12 o'clock in the second clock time is 1 o'clock in the third clock you can see time is 2 o'clock in fourth clock you can see time is 3 o'clock in fifth clock, time is 
four o'clock. And the sixth one, time is five o'clock. And here you can see time is six o'clock. Here seven o'clock. Then eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, and like this you can see. Here's how the minute hands movement shows the different time in an hour. So first is quarter past, here half past, and the last one is quarter two. So like this, we will show the minute hand movement shown in the different times in an hour. Students, now we will discuss problem set 43. Question number one is write the time shown in each clock in the box given below it. So here you can see the clock and we have to show the time. So here you can see the time is 25 minutes past 2 second is here you can see the time. So time is 50 minutes past 7. Third one is, so here in this clock you can see the time. Time is 5 minutes past 8. The fourth one is, here you can see the time. So that is 40 minutes past 4. Question number two, draw the hands of the clock to show the time given in the box. So here now they will give time to us. So we have to draw the hand of the clock. So let's see first one. So time is 4.30. Now you have to draw the hands. So here you can see. So like this you will draw 430. So like this you have to draw this in your notebooks. Now second question is so here we have to draw hands. So here quarter past 9. So like this it will give. So the long Raised hand will come on 3 and the shortest one will come on 9. So that time is quarter past 9. Now see the third one. Quarter to 5. So we will draw hands here. So here you can see the quarter to 5. So the longest one, longest hand will come on 9 and the shortest one will come on Hand will come on 5. So like this you will draw quarter to 5. Now fourth one is 20 minutes past 11. So here you can see we have drawn a hand. So 11 on 11 we will draw the short hand and here on 4, we have drawn the longest one. That is 20 minutes past 11. So like this, you will draw the hands on the clock. So now, we will see some word problem. So, question number 3 is, If a bus that leaves Nashik at 5 o'clock in the morning reaches Pune that same day at 10.30 in the morning. How long does the journey take? So here you can see the bus leaves from Nashik 
at 5 o'clock in the morning and reaches the Pune at the same time at 10.30 in the morning. So, we have to find how long does the journey take. So, let's see solution. Here, we have written hours and minutes. So, at Pune, the same day, bus reaches at 10.30. So, here we have written, in hours we have written 10 and in minutes we have written 30. So, and bus leaves at 5 o'clock. So, in hours we have written 5 and minutes we have written 0, 0. But here we have to find out the time. So, here we will subtract this. So, 0 minus 0 you will get 0. 3 minus 0 you will get 3. And for hours 10 minus 5 you will get 5. So, bus took 5 hours and 30 minutes. So, like this you will solve. Question number 4. A play that was to start at 9.15 at night was delayed by half an hour because of power outage. What time did the play start? So, here we have to find the time. At what time they have started that play? So, here you can see a play that was started at 9.15 at night was delayed by how many half an hour. So, here you can see in this solution, see at 9.15 the play starts, yes. So, in hours we will write 9 and in minutes we will write 15. So, 9.15 play to start, but it delays by half an hour. So, in minute we will add 30 minutes extra. So, here you can see we will add this word. So, minute, minute we will add. So, 9, 5 plus 0 you will get 5. 1 plus 3 you will get 4. And here 9 will remain as it is. So, at 9.45 play started. Therefore, the play started at 9.45 at night. Question number 5. If a train leaves Mumbai at 10.15 at night and reaches Nagpur at 1.40 the next afternoon, how long does the journey take? So, here we have to find out that how long does the journey take. So, train leaves from Mumbai at 10.15 at night and reaches the Nagpur at 1.40 to the next afternoon. So, we have to find out ki how long does the journey take place. So, let's see solution. Here, 10.15 at night to 12 midnight is, so here you can see 12 hours minus 10 hours 15. For students, here for 10 hours, we can write like this also, 11 hours and 60 minutes. So, here 60 minutes and here in hours, we will write 11. So, 60 minus 15 you will get 45 and 11 minus 10 you will get 1. So, here time is 1 hour 45 minutes. So, 12 midnight to the next that is 140 afternoon that is 13 hours 40 minutes. Now, so here total time that is equal to you can see in hours we have written 1 and in minutes we have written 45 and that first time that is 13 hours 
and 40 minutes. Now we will add this so we will get 85 minutes and here 14 hours. But students, do you know that 1 hour that is equal to 60 minutes. So this 85 minutes we will write like this. 60 minutes plus 25 minutes. So 60 minutes that is equal to 1 hour. So our time will be 1 hour 25 minutes. So this 1 hour we will add in here. So now time will be 15 hours 25 minutes. So like this you will write. So the total time of the journey is 15 hours and 25 minutes. Students, here we completed with module 1 of measuring time. Thank you dear students.